in the old days, if you didn't have a radio station or a television station or a newspaper of your own, you weren't able to communicate. Culture is about participation. It's about being together and exploring how we can make our society better. The world has changed. Citizens are no longer just consumers of information. So with this sort of crowdsourcing, what we call citizen science, we're really seeing how communication technology can transform science. Now our understanding is limited not by what data we can get about the universe, but by how many people we can put in touch with that data. We designed the sensing umbrella to be a node for gathering, displaying and sharing hyperlocal air pollution data. Each umbrella collects uh, nitrogen dioxide and carbon monoxide pollution levels in real time, displays it above the user's head and pushes the data to the cloud. Technology is a really important enabler so that we can communicate in really remote areas about this issue of climate change. And that's something that hasn't been possible just, you know, even 10 years ago. Rhizomatica is an organization that I helped start. Basically, we help people get set up and running with cellular service in their communities where no other coverage exists. In places where it's not profitable for a large operator to go, people can do it themselves. Porque es bastante difícil para trasladar del, del campo a la comunidad es de una hora a dos horas. Que trabajamos más en el campo, a veces hay picaduras de libro y probablemente cualquier persona puede llevar un, un celular y nos pueden comunicar rápidamente. What's happening now is just kind of a, a shock wave around what people can do. Tengo dos smartphones en mi mano, uno es con mi mano derecha y mi mano izquierda. Sin estos, prácticamente, ¿qué diríamos ahora? Es como que me faltaran los brazos, ¿no? ya que allí, allí viene la, la fuente, digamos, el ingreso que yo puedo tener. Nosotros the mobile phone seemed like a great way to facilitate microfinance activity, digital payment, and micro savings. There's a perception that poor people don't need financial services because they don't have very much money. But what we know from research done by partners like IMTFI is that poor people actually have very complex financial lives. Through the use of technology, it will simplify the learning process, the teaching process. This program benefits students. You know, mathematics has been like a disease. It's, most of us hate it, but this thing makes us like it. This is a, a huge step forward for the developing countries of Eastern Africa to have a high capacity fiber optic cable, which will probably see them through the next 20 years and really bring them into the 21st century. Technology is one thing. We can do the best technology possible. But what is even better is people who use that technology to do their jobs wonderfully.